fans here at WrestlePro. Yeah, there's a great crowd here tonight. They're really into this. Test ahead of him, but Donovan's had some recent run-ins with legends from WWE, Ted DiBiase, and Jake the Snake Roberts, a couple of Hall of Famers. We'll talk more about that momentarily. Mr. Impact Wrestling. Scott, your thoughts on that? Well, you know, I like the confidence from him. Bruce has certainly made a name for himself in a very short amount of time. Only about a four-year pro, but an elite athlete with that NFL background, and I can totally see why he's your wife's favorite wrestler. Well, we love Moose in our house. The kid's always doing the Moose hands, and there's Donovan from behind. Donovan's been competing for 15 years. He's upset. He's disgruntled with Russell Pro Management for not putting him in a bigger spotlight. Well, Tonight, he said he's going moose hunting. Well, I'll tell you what, he can uh, talk all he wants about not having an opportunity. He's got that right here tonight. A two-time brand champion, one of the hottest rising stars in wrestling in moose. And Donovan, you wanted it, you wanted this shot. Here it is. Put up or shut up. Scott mentioned moose's NFL background. He was an offensive lineman, played every position on the line in the National Football League, graduated with honors from Syracuse University. I don't believe that. There's no way that moose graduated. Yet alone with honors. Played four years at University of Syracuse. Oh, I believe he played four years. I just don't believe he graduated. If he did, it's because he majored in football. Moose would go on to watch the back of some of the great NFL quarterbacks. National Football League, Atlanta Falcons, New England Patriots. Well, I'll tell you what, Moose is one of very few men who's had the opportunity in his career. He's been in a huddle with Peyton Manning and with uh, with Tom Brady. Unbelievable there. And I mean, certainly Michael Vick, no slouch. But you look at the football minds he's been with. Uh, he's certainly got a very good education in football. And he's had a hell of an education in wrestling. A trial by fire, really, because he had a very short training period and then got right into having matches and competing around the world. And he certainly held his own just like he is tonight. This is Moose versus Sean Donovan here at Brace for Impact. Let me ask you, Scott, yesterday on Impact, just last night, Moose was involved in a fatal four-way number one contenders match with EC3 and Johnny Impact and Alberto El Patron. Moose appeared to get injured in that match. Johnny Impact is your new number one contender. But Alberto El Patron, he's got a bone to pick with Moose. If it wasn't for Moose, Patron would be number one contender. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you look at it. Moose did something that very few people have a couple of weeks ago when he pinned Alberto El Patron. And then, like you said, last night, he cost Alberto El Patron the number one contendership. Patron and Impact were out of the equation. Neither of them were allowed title shots. The uh, shocking win by Austin Aries put them back in the picture. Johnny Impact taking advantage of it. And Moose now clearly in the sights of Patron. Yeah, Alberto El Patron was pinned. As Scott mentioned, that was two weeks ago in a tag team all-star main event tag team match on Impact. Last night, Johnny Impact becomes number one contender. We know this coming Thursday, six nights from right now, it will be Austin Aries defending his newly won world championship for the first time against former champion Eli Drake. Impact's number one contender. So much happening right now on Thursday night. Yeah, what an unbelievable title scene. I'll tell you what, Eli Drake, what an unbelievable rise to winning the championship. And the amount of time he's carried the championship, and whether you like him, you don't like him, you have to say carried it very well and had an amazing run with that championship. And then to lose it in that way, to get to get basically, you know, hoodwinked, put the title on the line, wasn't even in his gear, lost in a flash uh, loss there. Well, he says it doesn't count. He says he's still the champion, and he's got a chance to prove it this Thursday. We'll see what happens when Drake invokes his rematch clause. 
and challenges Austin Aries for the World Championship. It happens Thursday night on an all-new Impact Wrestling as Sean Donovan looking to make a name for himself here against Moose 6'6", 295 pounds. Yeah, well, I gotta say, we've been talking about how Moose is right in the title hunt in Impact Wrestling. Sean Donovan certainly showing maybe Wrestle Pro was wrong in overlooking him because this guy can hang. What would it do for Sean Donovan's career? I know he's been competing for over a decade, but to beat Moose here on Twitch with a worldwide audience. Yeah, I mean, it's career making. Donovan's a 15 year pro, and for the people I've talked to, he's well respected in the area, but he's never really broken out of that little bubble. A win here against an international superstar like Moose on a platform like Impact on Twitch, that's a career maker. Moose has been traveling all over the world, so perhaps prime for the ooh, opportunity for Donovan here, but you know Moose as well as I do, perhaps better than anybody you know Moose. He never takes a night off. Yeah, and you know what? Maybe that's the problem for him here. I mean, he never he never says no. This guy flies all, all over the world. He's been in Japan. He's been in the UK. He's been in Mexico. He's been coast to coast here. As you mentioned, he just suffered what looked like an apparent knee injury. And despite that, no time off. Right back in the ring, taking on Sean Donovan here tonight. Yeah, Moose was cleared. He saw medical our doctors earlier today, and he was cleared to compete here against Donovan. No one's gonna tell Moose he can't get inside a wrestling ring. He loves it, loves to compete each and every night. Yeah, I mean, Moose is a guy, I mean, he played seven years in the NFL, he played college ball, all those accolades, never loved the sport of football. This is a guy, he was living at my house, he was training to wrestle, he had three different teams want him to sign for another NFL season. And thrown everything he can at Moose, and I think all he's managed to do potentially, Josh, is piss him off. And Moose with a big headbutt there. Rocks Donovan all the way back to the buckle. Boy, how would you like to have that big cranium smash into your skull? No thanks, and Moose, perhaps now looking for the train to Moose Nation. We're gonna put Donovan away. Moose loading him in here, we got a big power bomb here. Oh, oh, buckle bomb. Donovan down, perhaps out. Here comes the big man with a hesitation drop kick in the buckle. Boy, the athletic ability that Moose possesses and that he displays every time he gets in that ring is unbelievable. Listen to this crowd. Oh, Donovan counters. Moose stays one step ahead. Oh, that's spear. it. Big spear by Moose. Cover. Academic. Got him. Boy, I'll tell you what, Josh. Sean Donovan, he complained, he bitched that Russell Pro didn't give him a chance. Hats off to him. He showed a lot, but he showed he's not world class. And this man right here, Moose. He's a world-class athlete and wrestler. 